meet Caroline. Caroline was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004, and since then, she's been determined to give women suffering from the same illness the opportunity to get their lives back on track. Today, we're at Denise Labar's hair boutique in London, where six ladies suffering from cancer will be met by Caroline's team for a day of well-deserved pampering. I used to have a little column in a magazine and 99% of the women used to uh, write to me, not worried about cancer, not worried about dying, all worried about losing their hair, their eyebrows, their eyelashes and their femininity. And I thought, this is crazy, this is mad. And I hadn't found anything, that, anywhere I could go to take these women. So I decided to do it myself. So I got the hairdressers, the wig, the makeup artist, the uh, eyelashes, I'm doing the nails. And I'm also doing now all the clothes and now all the shoes. And now because they're all done up and got nowhere to go, I now have to do an after party. And I've done it all in two weeks. And I'm knackered and I want a bloody drink now. My hair started to grow, but I still need um, a wig. So I'm getting a new wig. I'm going to uh, get make, do have makeup done. Uh, and we've got some, a new dress. We're going to do clothes and we're going to do shoes. It's a fantastic day, really. I've got half the office sitting at home because they really have been supportive, really, back at the office. I've got half of them sitting at home going, make sure you text us photos. Pampered and swirl and really, truly, something that we wouldn't normally do for ourselves. <laughs> Caroline knows all the right people in all the right places. She's well connected and a good friend of Karen Betts. Bringing her team from the prestigious Harley Street, Karen is a world-renowned expert in permanent cosmetics, and she's here today to restore natural-looking eyebrows lost through the effects of chemotherapy. So young and complicated, all sex and motivated. They go, go, go. Next, they are given a range of world-class nail and makeup treatments from some of London's top beauticians. Here at the Denise Labar Hair Boutique, the latest high-quality wigs are carefully selected to suit the ladies' individual style and then fitted and styled to perfection. Those hips can swim. To bring the day to a climax, Caroline has arranged to take the ladies to a top Kensington hotel to reveal their new look to friends and family. It's the perfect end to a perfect day. They look absolutely stunning. They really do. They look glamorous, they look confident, they look sexy and alluring, and they look very, very uh, happy and, and, and nice in their own skin. I know it sounds as if, you know, there are more important issues than actually feeling good about yourself and your, your hair and your eyebrows when you've got cancer, but this event tells you actually how you feel about yourself can actually help you kind of recover. They really are transformed and it's a very lovely thing to see and I'm absolutely honoured to be here to see them looking so radiant and so happy and also the other thing was to see their families who really were wreathed in smiles and some of them dripping with tears to see them looking so transformed so it's been absolutely terrific. These little things can really help people you know um, when they're going through such such a bad time. And it's amazing because literally, I know that my, when my mum walked out of, um, you know, of Karen's office, you know, whatever you call it, treatment rooms after having her eyebrows done, she felt a million dollars. So it's amazing. It's amazing that these people, A, have the skill and the talent to do it and B, have the willingness and the givingness to do it for free because people can't afford it. So it's amazing. Caroline's determination to put back some of the things taken away by cancer is widely recognised and today she remains as one of the most inspiring and charismatic women in London. To her, although cancer can feel like a downhill roller coaster, it's not necessarily the end, but more so a new beginning.